Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I've seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Of course, I will need a place to store my collection. I will build you something when I can. Have patience. What is it you do here again? If you find any Roman artifacts out there in the world, bring them here. I'll appraise them and see they're given a good home. With me. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Dai dulci fruimini! I'll see you later, friend. Petra. Eivor, how are you? I thought we might spend some time together. That would be lovely. I was just about to get in some archery practice, if you'd like to join me. I could use the practice. Lead on. Remember, you can only shoot a target once. Ready? Go! I dare you to do better. Right in the middle. See that one, Petra? Right in the middle. And I believe the victory goes to me. Good game. That was fun. Next time, could we light the arrows afire or shoot blindfolded? I am satisfied with ordinary arrows. Less chance for disaster. Fair enough. I look forward to it. Evil. You and Petra chasing a white elk in the woods high as wispy clouds, my god! I could barely breathe for laughing. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. Something new for you. I brought something for you. Done for now. What have you got for me today? All 
Doctor. I must take my leave. So long. Happy hunting! Eivor? How do you feel, Eivor? I... I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys. According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution.
Let's go hooded here. Surely with 
should not be seen in this area. <laughs> Show me what lies ahead. Seems Elderman Beerston has made this ruin his longhouse. His household is as poorly run as his land. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that. Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I am looking for Beerstan, the Elderman of this Shire. Our Lord is not at home. But his wife is receiving visitors upstairs, in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater runner's a worthy woman, you coxcomb. She's an excellent cook, with a fine nose for truffles. If Birsten does not return soon, wine will not be the only thing spilled upon his floors. Now, gentlemen, everyone is practiced with this way. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex, 
As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. If he is away, I will speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You do not strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. is a godly virtue, Adred. Even the saints were tired of waiting for beer. Stand to hang up this bar. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land. With or without it. Good morrow! I stand here on behalf of the Lady Elette of Colchester, famed mistress of the flight. Do you seek an audience? I have never heard of her. Based on your appearance, I'm thoroughly unsurprised. Nevertheless, do you wish to challenge her? I do. Foolish. Yet to be graced by her presence may balance the pain of the loss you will most assuredly suffer. Lady Elette, you are called to the field of flighting. Ah, a peasant. Come for a sound flighting. Please, place your paltry bet. Take this. Hmm. A pittance. But I accept on the lady's behalf. She will begin. I have heard much about you, and none of it good. You've the softness and brains of a sheep. My verses are known all across this great land. And it's more than the country can stand. Simply... Awful. Oh, you think you're so clever, I'm almost impressed that you managed to blurt something out. Yet I worry our skills are too deeply mismatched. Well, I think you'll be easily dispatched. Shameful performance. Truly. I should almost take pity on one so bereft, of beauty, of wit, and of skill. But instead, I'll persist till you beg me to stop. You're exhausting. Your words are but slop. That one was rather off. <laughs> Another peasant falls to the sparkling wit of the Lady Elect. Oh, my heart weeps for you, and your frailty of mind. 
I do hope you'll come and try again someday. Trust me, I will. Good morrow, good morrow. Once more, you seek an audience with Milady. This time, I will not fail. How quaint that you think so. Milady, the stumble-tongued Norse person has returned. Oh, pity this poor little chirpless bird. I will do my best not to harm you too badly this time. I'll take your wager before you begin. Take this. Hmm. A pittance. But I accept on the lady's behalf. She will begin. I have heard much about you, and none of it good. You've the softness and brains of a sheep. My verses are known all across this great land. For they put all who hear them to sleep. Not bad. Oh, you think you're so clever, I'm almost impressed that you managed to blurt something out. Yet I worry our skills are too deeply mismatched. I'll defeat you and banish all doubt. <laughs> Lucky. I should almost take pity on one so bereft, of beauty, of wit, and of skill. But instead, I'll persist till you beg me to stop. I think it's past time that I left. That one was rather off. Thus the Lady Alette has been beaten at last, by the one she was foolish to doubt. Now her herald must give me the sum of my bet, while Alette can but stand there and pout. Oh, pay what is due and send this peasant away. I grow weary. Of course, milady. Take your winnings, you have earned them. Thank you.
Sunan, guide me. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. They were caught off guard as they supped. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Beeston still lives. <laughs> Have a look, Sunan. What do you see? Shall we continue? Beerston! Ready your weapon! Accept your fate as a feast for bears! Your weapon strikes true! This is one Saxon you won't kill today! You have savaged enough men today, beast! My gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I am Estrid sent. Your wife and the thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? You speak ill of your wife. Has your love faded, or were you ill-matched? As family, we are as close as Cain and Abel. She is a willful woman, and I am a bad husband. You know me, it seems. Only by reputation. A deliciously teasing sentiment. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once. And we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain? 
paralyzing you with its sting. There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your things in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love. And a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beeston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow. My eyes narrow. If they see me, this will get messy. I, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Beeston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favorite <sighs> recipe, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure. Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight, yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? He should put his own ham fist in his purse and contribute coin to the festival. Yes. You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own coin, then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The field. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Birsten. 
whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Spearston. Are you not worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. I noticed your love has gone sour. Was it fresher than this? <laughs> there is so little difference between love and hate, it's difficult to say where the sourness comes from. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I am too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Francia would need a swift ship with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Evo. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Evo. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvid, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? She will remember, won't she? Yet what if she's married already? Or buried in the cold of the
This place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You have lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. Have you always missed Frank here? I have. Or rather, I miss the woman I was when I lived there. Somewhat freer and more hopeful. And what of our plan, the Great Lama's Kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year, full of youthful bravado. A Saxon. A Dane, though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that the light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. You would have me, Eivor. My weapon is yours. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfur, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I will bring him round by force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lama's Festival. Rolo! <laughs> Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! Found your captain. Your friends are all trussed up. Who's out here now? Surrender! Roll all these prudent. I may be drunk, but you are as ugly as a hog. Oh. 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 Christ mercy! Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? 
Only a friend. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. The screamer, if you don't keep it down. What's the only game Eve are the best? sight here. Worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor? Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Lork, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. You must tire of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day. But not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. I have what I need for now. While you were drinking and whore. Gerhild, is it? I, Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. You were not here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. 
There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy, but of Estrid or Rolo I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. Log accused you of treachery. He saw you with the Saxon. Log? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. That is all, for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Have you made your decision? On second thought, perhaps there is more to be learned. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rolo's clan. I might find some evidence to test their stories. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. No need to hunt when the camp is full of fresh kills. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. Survey the area, Sunan. Lark. You're lying. I found a rack full of game nearby. Enough to feed the camp for days. Told you. I was hunting. Stick to that story and I'll tell Rolo to take your treacherous head. I was sleeping in the forest, wasn't I? Heard Saxons tramping through the tree, so I hid. Not fool enough to face him on my own. I have what I need for now. Gerhild, can we speak again? You're lying. I found rags and rags of game. You've got more wit than your face suggests. I went to meet a lad from a nearby village. Rolo's not the only one who dallies with locals. <clears throat> that is all for now. Have you made your decision? On second thought, perhaps there is more to be learned. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons What see you, old friend? While you were drinking and whoring... You're back, are you? Let's carry on. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. 
Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. Gerhild, can we speak again? <clears throat> that is all, for now. Gerhild, can we speak again? That is all, for now. Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting, as Lork did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lork saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. I did not think her a hypocrite. Lork said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. This man knew the Saxons were coming and hid. He was either in league with them, or a coward. A sad fall for a great warrior no longer in his prime. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. On second thought, perhaps there is more to be learned. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxon. Gerhild, can we speak again? That is all, for now. While you were drinking. Lork. I have what I need for now. You were drinking and whoring, Rollo. The Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister. And Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. Have you made your decision? On second thought, perhaps there is more to be learned. Lork. I have what I need for now. Have you made your decision? Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth.
Gerhild betrayed you. No, that's not true! Rolo, I beg you! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my home. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beak pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive. And I will need your help after they are free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. I always knew there was something wrong about her. Spare me your sullen words. My heart is torn. Go. Find something useful to do. I've heard of a safer place than this south of Colchester. As you and I go take a look, shall we? I am sorry that your people suffer, Rolo. Thank you, Eivor. I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. about this land, my friend. This area is off limits. Rolo's men, caged like plump hens. to get on the other side.
struck from above. I've seen the Saxons fall upon their enemies this way. Must be blocked from the other side. men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, raven feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. 
I need you stout-hearted in this, whatever your passions for Estrit. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here, nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester, on the night of the Lama's Festival. Run up the sail! to get on the other side.
My eyes. remember a lover from so long ago. Would I? This place is heavily guarded. The last house in Malden. All that us should be here. Second bed. All that it doesn't live alone. Leave me be, warmonger. You have my sister. Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. What is your name? I'm Ellerich, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? I'm looking for your sister. 
At the behest of another. Behest? We've got no money to speak of, and my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Alvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. Troll curse corruption lurks here. Do you see soon? This must be Beerston's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. I need your eyes, my friend.
He should unlock Alvida's cage. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risks so much to save me? A friend. Of Elrich's? Is he all right? The poor boy? Not your brother. Not your brother. Someone else who wishes to rekindle of a friendship. Won't be gentle if they spot me. Gentler, please. You'll soon be safe. Rest easy. Yeah. Rest now. Soon you'll be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich. Pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. I found him cowering like a frightened pup near your house. He may need a firmer hand. You would judge us? My parents died and left me alone with a babe when I was little more than a girl myself. Now speak plain, why have you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for... I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife Estrid returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, 
God, help me. I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He will come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he will ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Give her time, Birsten. A passion rekindled in haste will soon fall to embers. Of course. You are absolutely right. And we have a lifetime to recapture what was mislaid. I hope it will not take that. And this young lad is Elevich, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Birstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Birsten. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Birsten. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elovrich, I would suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Fairston, I cannot believe you would come for me. to wear a garland of meadows Underway. I should speak to Rolo about our plan. Thank <laughs> you. 
How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Unleash your war dogs. Set things afire. Bring panic. Act like the barbarians they think us to be. We'll stick their hearts with needles of fear. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. I think so too. Stand down, you Saxon dogs! The Lady of Essex is ours! Dogs, the Lady of Essex is ours. I am ready when the time comes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You're coming with me. Oh, oh, this is you, foul Dane. Gods, oh, woe unto me. Put me down. Odin spirit. You can fool a child with that howling. Unhand me, fiend. Will none of you Saxons save me? I'm gonna come for you. Stand down, you Saxon dogs! The Lady of Essex is ours! I shall faint from the sheer horror of it all! Time to die! Remain steadfast! We are safe enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Yeah. Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Eivor. You can stand against Alfred's brutes, but you shudder at a maiden's gentle teasing? Done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rollo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if beer stands will not. Now's not the time for such worries, Afor. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead! Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. I should find Piston. No doubt he's hunting again. I am proud of this. We did a good thing for Estrid and her lord. Maybe now we can all be happy.